<sighs> Can you still hear me? Yes. Thank you. Today, I will speak again about positivity. Why to stay positive? Isn't it more practical to look for troubles and to prevent troubles? Is it more practical to stay balanced rather than positive? Is it more practical to be true to yourself and be depressed? Why to stay positive? There is no simple answer, but through the law of attraction that you well know well, you attract what you're interested in. You are where your attention is. You are where the focus of your attention is. If you are interested in the darkness, if you are looking for trouble, if you are researching trouble, if you are looking into the dark side, you feed the dark side, you amplify the dark side. Your energy is there and you create your reality by the, your interest. What is interesting to you creates your reality. You attract that, you, that, that which is of your interest. You attract that which is of your interest. That's where your choice is. You do that choice every second, every moment, every minute. You always have choices. And you assign values to different choices. You look at things and then some things make you happy. Some things make you sad. And as you keep worrying, as you keep isolated, as you keep feeling isolated, negative things become more interesting for you. It's a trap. It is a trap. I invite you to get out of this trap. Your true nature is happiness. Your true nature is light. Your true nature is smile. Your true, true nature is love. Elevated love. Love of light. Love of God. The love, a substance of universe. Motherly love. Parents' love. Your true nature is to be relaxed. Your true nature is to be at peace. Your true nature is to be strong. Your true nature to be self-sufficient. Your true nature is to be abundant and creative. Wake up to your true nature. It's your choice every moment. What's your interest? But my advice would be focus your interest on the positive side, on the light side, on the white side. Your reality is defined by your interests. Look on the light side, look on the bright side. Keep in mind that you develop through a curve more like a three-dimensional, four-dimensional spiral. You go through a curve, ups and downs, ups and downs. 
it is in the nature of this illusionary reality which is life it is the nature of this 3d life 4d life any any materialized life it is guided by waves by planets by breathing by biological rhythms of your body by rotation of platonic solids of geometrical shapes by waves by rotations by curves which breathe up and down go up and down up and down it's a complicated music and when you look from outside this music is beautiful so when you go down don't despair you are guided you have energy it is in your possession it's just your blockages prevent you from taking it when you are dragged down by the energies keep in mind there is that universal energy which is always yours you're not alone it is just an illusion of being alone you're not alone you have all the support it's just an experience of going down take it easy take it with wisdom there is a part realize that there is a part of you which goes down and there is a bigger part of you higher part of you which is always there which is your consciousness which your higher self which is your higher self look from their higher perspective on this lesson Keep breathing. Breathing is always yours. Realize there is beauty in this game. There is beauty in this drama. There is beauty in this drama. This world is a playing field where the Creator created the many copies. <laughs> when the Creator created many copies of themselves, and you want you are one of the copies. You are your higher self, you are the creator, you are the divine mother. You are just an actor playing that drama. And when your character goes down, it is just a character. You are still a creator experiencing going down. All individuals have free will. All individuals in this drama have free will. And the drama of the earth is full of darkness but this darkness is like a swamp which produces beautiful flowers beautiful life the earth is abundant in life there is plenty of beauty in this darkness and you have a choice to stay in the darkness or to see the beauty which is birthed by the darkness it's your choice and my advice is to see the light side to see the bright side to see the beauty so when you're going down realize there is a higher side of you which is still up which is still beautiful which is still perfect and then the time will come when you can go up it's all waves down up down up so when you go up 
That's where it, the choices are made. Make wise choices. The secret is to grow spiritually, but also to grow in your practical wisdom. To be practical, to make wise choices in this illusion. To play this game successfully. Be successful as a spirit and be successful as a human. It may sound unusual, but but this is true. Keep breathing. Allah Be successful as a spirit and be successful as a human. Allah Allah I invite comments. I invite comments and questions. Allah. Yes. Hi, this is Carol. Hey, Carol. How are you doing? Thank you. Um. I wanted to ask about. Just a second. I'm doing great. Thank you. Right. There are some disturbances and there are some conflicting interests, but overall mood is positive. Overall mood is very positive. Yes. Um, I was thinking about the balance of positivity, and I was in a situation this morning with my sister and said, I'm going to go in with all kinds of love and all this, you know. Mm -hmm. And then the cynicism came in from the from my sister and um, then I was picking up on the cynicism and I you know so I just want to know what's a good way to kind of get back to your to your positivity in situations with, with folks and yourself thank you can you give some matter some substance to that cynicism so what was um, it about what did she say um, it was my sister talking in the car, and we were doing positive things, and she would say, but, and I just totally forgot what it was. It just okay, okay, the, okay. Yeah, just brought down the energy is all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I mentioned to her, oh, you're being cynical. Um, she goes, I like to do that. And I said, you probably really don't. And that's kind of how it went. <laughs> <laughs> ah, great topic. Thank you. <laughs> you see, cynicism often is health healthy and often it is healing. It is just another form of humor and recovery. Because it's all an illusion anyway, so cynicism, it is transcending the reality. It is transcending the reality, but it is transcending the reality downwards. It's like humor, but humor usually lifts you up, lifts you up. And cynicism is like humor, but drags you down, pushes you down. Often it is releasing more energy than humor. Humor, <laughs> you put the energy there. Cynicism gives the energy away. The situation is dragged down, but there is a sinful pleasure in it. Sinful pleasure. You make the shift, make the transcendence downwards. Descendance, transcendence, descendance. It is to be honored Anything is to be honored, and cynicism in many ways, in many places, in many situations is healing and healthy, because, especially because the person who is cynical is also strong. So, in critical situation, they are to be relied on, they are strong, they can think for themselves, they can transcend the situation.
As usual, you start from yourself. Why is it hurting you? Why is it hurting you? Why their cynicism is hurting you? So it is just a lesson for you from one, one perspective, how to react, how to counteract this drag down, this descendants, how to counteract the descendants. So it is for you to practice the muscle of turning the movement down to the movement up. There is a movement down, but how do you turn it into the movement up? It is often healthy to go down before you lift up. And when you lift up, when you go up, you go up even on a higher level than before. It is shifting the perspective. It is changing the status quo. Also, of course, a cynic might want to realize that it is not always healthy to put things down without lifting them up. It's easy to turn things down, but then after the step down, you have to make a second step, which is step up. And many forget about it. Many are not ready for that. Work as a positivity machine, as a positivity robot, as a positivity automation machine. Improve, lift up, enlighten, lighten up. Give a lightened perspective. It takes heart. It takes heart energy. It takes, takes wisdom and connection to the divine. So when you see the negativity, when you see the cynicism channel, usually your energy at hand is not sufficient to counteract the, this drag down, this drop down. But if you channel energy from higher sources, there is plenty of energy which would be happy to assist, happy to uplift the situation. So when somebody is cynical, use your humor and charge it with divine insight, divine enlightenment. And teach. Teach that a step down is to be followed by a big step up. Learn how to keep the curve turning up. In any of your thoughts, even the most negative ones, don't leave them hanging down like things will be bad. No. Always put but. But. Yes, things are going down. This doesn't look good. But. There is still hope. But. There is still a positive side. There is always a positive side. Even the most negative events have a positive side. Sometimes not in this life. Sometimes not in this historical period. But even big historical dramas such as destruction of Atlantis were necessary, were teaching and purified, cleaned up the negativity which, which was dangerous. If Atlantis wasn't destroyed, it was going to be dangerous for the universe. The destruction of, of Atlantis, the biggest tragedy of Earth in recent historical times, 20-something thousand years ago, was necessary and cleaned up the surface for the humanity to recover. The humanity still continued. The size of the body changed. The nature of the body changed. There was more infusions necessary more guidance necessary, but the humanity continued, the souls continued the play, the game, the drama, the, the divine game of life. And so the smaller tragedies 
they all have positive side. There is always something to learn. Because it's all a game. It's all a game. The souls, the your soul and other souls, the creator is playing this divine game. It's all good. It's all just practice. So cynicism also has a bright side. Acknowledge it. And play with it. Play, play, play. Keep breathing. In this darkness, there is always beauty. The earth is rich in darkness, and your soul feels poor in here. But notice the beauty which this darkness produces, births. There is much beauty, much energy, much life in this swamp. Acknowledge it, appreciate it. It is all just temporary. It's just all a class, a game, a course of miracles. <laughs> Any comments here or anywhere? Thank you. Thank you. There is some sound, but very quiet. Thank you. What's your thank you? What's your name? Chloe. Is it Zoe? Chloe. 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 All right. Thank you. Allah <laughs> The point is that you are not done yet with this friend. You are done in physical, but the spiritual connection still is there and the lesson is not learned yet. There is still much to learn from this lesson. So my advice would be don't repress your work on that trauma you might delay it but it still needs to be surfaced the trauma still needs to be surfaced and this relationship in your soul needs to be resolved and resolved positively healed which is not easy it might take some work some positive resolutions and re-evaluations building some muscles, spiritual muscles, which would allow you to handle this kind of lessons. Don't just try to forget. Try to convert these traumas into positive strengths. Yeah, there is much to learn, much to convert. The reason that friend, former friend, former enemy, gives you so much trouble is because 
of your state because that friend had shown you something in yourself, some weaknesses in yourself, which you have to resolve, strengthen, learn, practice. Certain weaknesses which you need to practice and to become better, excel in certain aspects of your life. If you were stronger, if you were more of your future self, the hurt which you received from that friend, you wouldn't even notice. It would be funny for you. The reason you noticed it because of certain lessons which you need to learn. It is a perfect teacher which gave you on the negative side trouble. And this trouble is to be resolved through learning, practicing and strengthening your character, your inner character, your inner system of values, your inner system of coping and um, not fighting, but protecting and resolving certain issues with outsiders. The first step is to accept. Second step is to go on, move on with your social life. Build your positive circle of friends beyond the trauma. It could be one friend, it could be more than one friend, but work on their social positivity, social relaxation. Hmm. You need to ease certain traumas. You need to get into easy, easy, friendly relationships beyond the trauma. Get some support, some energy support, some some flow. Get into some flow. Look for the flow of energy which is positive and healing. Because you need that healing. You need to resolve the traumas. You need some energy to rise beyond, rise beyond, rise above the traumas you received. And then from that higher position, you can start resolving the past traumas. So much of inner work is needed. I would suggest keep noticing there is help coming to you. We are helping. Your guides are helping, sending you books, movies, art, wisdom, teachings, which are needed for you. So don't, don't, don't let it pass. Keep noticing it and learn from what comes your way. It's all helpful. It is coming very often towards your way. So you just need to notice that this wisdom is coming to you. And that will help you to build a structure to build the energy and to build the necessary strengths and skills to counteract the future troubles like that. Outside world. Mm. You're not ready for strong relationships yet, so look for temporary lessons, temporary connections, and look for the ways where you, with your light, can be helpful, where you can serve, when you can help to weaker ones, more troubled ones, with your wisdom, with your energy, which where you can be helpful. So that will heal them, and it will heal you as well. That is the usual and usual solution, and in this case, it is it would really work greatly for you. See where you would be helpful. Look for less pretty ones, less energy ones, less energetic ones, less lucky ones. See how you could be of help, but without a huge commitment. You are not ready for a commitment yet. So go with smaller commitments. Keep breathing. And receive the energy. The energy is coming your way. It's there just for you to grab. 
Do a dance. Dance it out. Dance it out. Do a dance and dance it out. Dance it resolving. And as you dance, dance yourself. And dance your opponent as well. Be your opponent as well. Put yourself in their skin in a dance. And that will heal them and heal you. <laughs> Any further questions on that topic? You're welcome. You're welcome. Any questions, comments on any topic? Yes, I do have a question. Yes. Hey Eva, thank you. Max and Yogananda. I have a question about myself. I've been, um, I have leftovers of PTSD, right? Post traumatic stress disorder. And I've been doing so many things to heal myself. I don't even, so many workshop practices, all kinds of things. And I still seem. So you have my nervous system not working properly and um, I also notice like today I can I can create headache in my head by one sentence by one thought you know so I am I'm still not well and I'm kind of frustrated by not being completely well I got very wise but I still you know I'm affected Super, thank you, wonderful, thank you. Just a second. Allah, keep breathing, breathe deeply. Allah, as I'm speaking, we are working on you. Allah, first. <laughs> accept the failure you fail to feel your PSD, P PTSD so just accept it Allah it will not go away ever ever you are you are stuck with it <laughs> oh just laugh at it just whatever Allah focus your energy outside of it focus your energy on building another you it's not that you will lose the trauma it is that you will shift away to a new version of you where the trauma still exists but is not as important now it becomes not a drama not a drama not a drawback not a mm, sickness not a sickness but a feature a strength a characteristic of a character a feature, a, a signature vibration. Just convert this trauma, positivize it, make it positive, lighten it up into a feature of character. Mm. Mm. Allah, na, ya, na, oh, ma. There are some, uh, there was some holy people who underwent their trauma and this trauma opened in them psychic gifts and one of them is Jim. His vision goes bad while his inner vision goes extremely high strong same with wanga and many others often the trauma is a gift which opens you up 
which creates certain channels which are not possible in healthy body. So your protection was broken, but it opened certain channels, so use them well. Don't close them, use them well. Yes, now you can create headache in yourself with a thought, with a sentence, but also you can heal headaches with a sentence, you can heal headaches in others with a sentence, you can transform the outside world with a sentence. Your gift of transforming things became bigger and possibly often you transform things in outside world through a little pain in yourself but you know how to heal this pain already so it is a worth method it is a acceptable an acceptable method of transforming the world through taking some of the world's darkness onto yourself and transform it into the positive <laughs> What did you want? What did you want to say? Well, I'm very. I like what you said. <laughs> I really thank you. I thank you so much. Because it's not that I always hundred percent do what you are saying consciously, but it feels like that there is something which really opened up and transformed me because of that trauma. But I am also so hypersensitive to any elements that I sometimes wonder the, the functioning in a regular world is hard. You know, it's like I don't fit the regular world. So I am aware of these gifts, but I don't always know how to use them. Like you say, taking this negative and transforming it. Can you say a little more about that? Allah na Yes, thank you. Yes. Allah. So you realized, you discovered that you are not from this world. Oh, Check yes. mark. Yes. So the answer is very simple. You don't have to to be as others. You can allow yourself to shift into the new form, new ways of behavior, new ways of dealing with the world, which correspond to your uniqueness, to that which correspond to your difference. Your ways got to be different than ways of others. So you received in the childhood in your life, you received a lot of training. Now the main work for you is to shift, allow yourself to shift into the new mode of action, which is untraditional, very different. And that relates to all behaviors. Eating, breathing, moving, drinking, sleeping, all behaviors might shift a bit. Be practical, experiment with it, and discover your own optimal state of being. And that lesson is not only yours, it's ours and it helps your, your extraterrestrial tribe. It's not only they help you, you help them because they need to understand how to deal with that darkness of humanity, how to deal with the humanity. Some of your trauma is your personal trauma, but some of it is there by your design, by your genetic and spiritual lineage. lineage. So you came here with a different program, with a different set of core vibrations, core signatures. So you are discovering how to adapt your behaviors and values so your core signatures can function in the human world. So empirical method is great and also you get lots of help. We are sending you ideas 
through all the means, through your ears, through your eyes, through the internet, through the books, through messengers, through animals, through your mind, through your body, through your heart, through your fingers, through outside aura. So you get the ideas, just accept them. And of course, it's for you to try them because we can give you ideas, but it's for you to try and see how it fits. You have a unique experience. You are the first one to be in this situation, in this body, in this century, dealing with this kind of vibrations. Some of the of your problems that higher vibrations, four dimensional vibrations, elevate some of your spirit some of your mind some of your neural vibrations but also it gets in the conflict with your material body so you are to figure it out how to combine your higher dimensional being with the lower dimensional habits and traditions of your body lots of release is needed and you are very skilled in that. So work on this. Dance. Slowly walk, dance, move around. Movement. Breathing and movement is your one of the tools. One of the tools. Work with it. Work with your art. Work with your creativity, with your art. Some of that is sold through the art, through symbols, through energy symbols, through sound symbols. You are very powerful priestess. Use your magic. Allah, ya Allah, Om, it's all in your possession. You have had it for lifetimes, many lifetimes. Use it. It's all yours. Allah, ya Allah, Om, 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 and smile. It's easy, easy. Relax into it. Don't be tense. Relax. I'm sending the love. My love is there with you. Breathe it in. It is in your spine. Take it in. Take it in your blood. I'm there. There is two of you there. One is skeptical and one is faithful. Accept them both. The skeptical one is needed for you. Don't restrict it too much. But the faithful one is needed even more. Allow the faithful one to believe, to trust, and allow them to bring the energies and bring the solutions. Don't allow the cynical one to control everything. Use your cynicism to transcend, descend the reality, but use your faithful one to uplift it back. So keep the second, give the second one, give the faithful one, optimistic one, the godly one, give them a chance to uplift the situation. It's like breathing down, up, down, up, down, up. You are great in perseverance. Use it. Use the talent. Persevere. Move forward. Move forward, learn. Use your scientific mind, learn and build. Allah. We are thankful for you. That we are thankful to you. Your experience is very valuable. Oh That experience, the path is the most important thing. The path that you walk. The path that you create is by itself valuable. Om Maha Om. Ah.
Bring orange color into your life. Just buy a few oranges. Bring the orange color into your life. Allah, some more sun. Some more yellow orangish light. Some life. Allah. <sighs> Any more comments, questions, re reflections? Yes, isn't it fun? <laughs> uh, so it's time to to make choices. It changes the, ch the nature of time changed for the while, for a while, for a period. So adjust to this speed. Learn from New Yorkers. From people in Tokyo, people in big cities, they experience that high frequency, high speed of time for a while. So you just switch, you tune into that new way of doing things. There is more possibilities, but more choices to be made. So needs to be made, more choices. So you don't, you cannot rush yourself. You cannot go faster. It's only being more selective in what you do and how you do things. On some criteria, you have to relax and allow yourself to drop certain things. To not to finish certain things. To procrastinate on certain things. Because with this new nature of time, you cannot do as much as you did before. You just scheme the experience without actually dive in full in it because you don't have time for full experience so choose wisely what you want to focus on it will go up and down it's only a phase it's only a phase anything is a phase your life is only a phase That time speed up is on their phase. Take it easy, relax into it. Enjoy the ride. It's like surfing. Just surf the wave. It allows you to see what is most important for you and what you can drop for a while. Don't forget, as things change outside, What do you need to do? It's an opportunity for you to shift inside. Work on your inner change. Discover a new shape of yourself. Move somewhere into a new version of yourself, which you want. Move it in a version which would be both more successful as a human and more successful as a spirit. Realize the speed of time is created by you as well. It's your drive, your mind, your blood, your water creates that new speed of time. It is the parameters of the game has changed, so you create the time differently. So 
it's up to you how much to create it how much how many frames of the life to create it's like movie you're rolling the movie faster you can slow it down at will you just get more prompts in me in a period of time so now when you roll your role of movie role of film when you spin your movie of life there is more prompts per unit of frames so just shift into your new self where you have more selectivity and uh, shift into a state of channeling shift into a state of channeling where you don't actually use your mind as much when as time speeds up you don't use your mind as much you use your intuition more so shift into your intuitive self because your intuition is faster allow your intuitive self more freedom not that you will make less mistakes but you will feel easier more energetic more successful as a human and more successful as a spirit so faster time means be more intuitive you don't have time to research you don't have time to investigate you don't have time to double check so work with your intuition and decide on the fly and be more forgiven more forgiven because time faster means more, more, more errors so forgive yourself more errors it's all just a judgment so don't judge judge yourself harshly as if you go on vacation into New York City and you don't know the area things move too fast so don't judge yourself harshly because it's a foreign area foreign set of parameters relax feel feel yourself to be on vacation because you are you are on a vacation <laughs> you are seriously that's a vacation for you enjoy the ride enjoy the wave ride the wave any comments questions reflections thank you thank you so much thank you any more comments questions reflections It's time for guided meditation. <coughs> Relax, sit comfortably, lay down comfortably, release things, put your hands on your heart, your palms on your heart, breathe in and hold, ah, release it, ah. keep, keep breathing deeply at your own timing, consciously pay attention to your breathing. There is a lot of darkness around now we will work on uplifting the darkness lightening it up we'll work with the planet with the humanity the humanity is in a crisis yes yes crisis oh danger oh danger it is darkness it's a perfect time for you to shine because your shining is visible your shining is bright your shining can and will uplift the darkness, resolve the darkness, build a new foundation in the darkness, new foundation for their 
temple of light, temple of light, the church of light, temple of light, temple of love. That foundation is being built now. Your light will contribute. Om Maha Om Om First, first find the energy inside, find that source inside, find that source of unlimited energy inside. It is there in your spine, in your heart. It is a vortex, it's a spinning ball of light, spinning a ball of love. It's a vortex in the shape of a ball. Allah na Omaha. Discover, visualize. It is there. Just visualize. Connect to it. The spinning vortex, spinning ball of light. Pearl colors, rainbow colors. With dominating gold and silver colors. Green and gold and silver. Allah Ramaha and blue. Ramaha. Green and blue. Ramaha. It's like our planet, green and blue, spinning, but faster, faster, faster. Om Maha, connect to this source of energy. It's always yours, it's always there. If you don't feel it, it's only because of your blockages. You are it, you are made of it. It's your infinite source. You are eternal, you're connected to this source of energy. Just reconnect to it, remember, recollect. Reconnect and recollect. The connection to the source. Allah It's your drive. It's more powerful than anything. It's as bright as sun, brighter than sun. It is there. It is source which is always yours. You can always plug into it and recharge. Allah. Keep breathing and reconnecting to the source. Your heart is pumping the blood through that ball of energy, and your blood is recharged. Your blood is recharged. Tadam, 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 tadam. Your blood is recharged. Keep breathing. You need that energy of breathing. You need that oxygen you need that atmosphere you need the spirit of air to come in and connect with the fire to feed the fire of your life Allah the blood energized fills your vessels, fills your body, it goes into capillaries in your head, in your in your palms, in your hands, in your legs, in your feet. Your bones are energized. The bones, the crystals of the bones reconnect with your etheric body. Uh, energized, a uh, crystally um, charged with crystalline energy. Allah, the bluish crystalline, shiny energy, white sparkles of light in your bones. Ram, ram, ram. Your immune system in the bones, in the bone marrow, ram, ram, is reconnected, reconnected with the source of energy. Your aura is cleaned up. Clean up your aura. Shake it off. Clean up your aura. It's Baby blue, baby pink, baby green, Ramahana, Rama, baby orange, baby yellow, Ramahana, violet, 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 Ramahana, oh. shh, 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 
cleaned up your aura. All is beautiful. Rahana Hamaha, do you believe it? Arahana, recall it's beautiful. Just recall, reconnect to your beautiful one. Oh my, it's always there. Just reconnect to it. Shunaha, Junaha, Juhana, Jaha, Yaha, Ja. You, the energy is yours. Just reconnect to your healthier self. Raha, Yaha, Yaha, Naha, Yaha, Om. Now let's go do the work. You are energized. Let's go do the work. Ramaha, where do you go to do the work of meditation? In your center, in your heart. Go do the work. Discover the world there. The earth is there. You are the earth. It's there. It is. It is uh, just a different dimension. You reconnect to the earth. The core, the mantle, the crust. The hydrosphere, the atmosphere, the oceans, the air, the clouds, the etheric field of the earth, the magnetic field of earth. Connect, reconnect, it's all yours. You are it, you are made of it and it is made of you. It is co-created by all the humanity and it is co-created by yourself. You are a co-creator of the planet. Allah, Allah. It is full of darkness, of course. Darkness is its nature, yeah. There is darkness there, and it's easy, healthy. It's just part of it. The humanity is a, a little, uh, little island, little biosphere, how do you call it? Little part of the biosphere. Human sphere, yeah. Human sphere, no sphere, yeah. The humanity is a no sphere on that on that planet. The planet is strong and healthy. The planet is strong and healthy. And the humanity is sick. So let's help the humanity to be less suicidal. How do you solve it? Throw yourself, through changing yourself. Find the suicidability in you. Find your depression, find your desire for suicide, find your dark side, find your desire to self-destroy, so find your self-destroy button. <laughs> Allah, work on yourself first. So, how do you find it? Yeah, there is lots of... Darkness is easy to find, it's everywhere. Ramahanaha. Now, positivize it. Convert it into a light, convert it into a flame, into positivity, so burn it. <laughs> Just um, take a, a match, light it up, and burn your darkness. Burn your suicidability into fire of health. And that's it. Uh, light it up. Shine a light. Put the rain onto it. Just a few drops of rain, a bucket of rain, an ocean of rain. Just put some water and make it green. Make it grow into a green forest, green vegetation, bushes, grass, flowers. Grow flowers in your darkness. The flowers like the darkness. They grow out of the darkness. Fairies. Invite the fairies. Invite the elves. Invite the elementals. Invite them. Have them fun in this darkness. They can transform it into the beautiful, uh, beautiful forest. And the meadow with flowers and flies. Flowers and flies. Flies help. They also feed onto darkness. And they are darkness concentrated. But they help flowers to grow. So grow a vegetation in your darkness. And now spill it out on the biosphere. Spill it out. Now the biosphere is recovering, recovering as phoenix from ashes, from destruction, from darkness, from chaos into a jungle, into a rainforest. Allah, pour some of your light, some of your air, some of your water, some of your fire, onto the biosphere.
Send some winds over to blow the dust around. Send some clouds, some rainy clouds, some mm, storm clouds, storm clouds, some hurricanes. Wash it over the biosphere. Wash it over. Spread some seeds of love. Some seeds of love. Urraha, urraha, urraha. Seeds. Uh, pollinate them. Now pollination is fun. Pollinate, pollinate, pollinate the flowers. Pollinate the plants. Pollinate everything. Send the seeds out. Pollinate. Oh. Spread the seeds out. Spread the seeds out. The winds, the animals, the insects, carry the seeds everywhere. Now the sun. Turn on the sun. Turn on the light. Shh. They are done, you're good, you, sh you did the work. Check mark. Allah, oh, enjoy, relax, enjoy. Oh, connect to the light, connect to the positive side, connect to the resolution, connect to salvation, sol solution, salvation of the problems. Connect. The exit is as important as the entrance. Have fun. You possibly forgot what is having fun, what is having pleasure. Connect to the pleasure, connect to fun. You are entitled because you are alive. So, fun is just another side of work. You did the work, now have fun. So, the work is completed properly. That is as important. Having fun is as important as doing the work. Have pleasure. Oh, Cry if you wish, oh, weep if you wish. There is place for sadness as well. Joy and sadness together. Joy and sadness together. done for today take it easy you can relax now I will leave you in a minute take it easy relax 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 into happiness relax into health relax into recovery relax into solution relax into salvation relax into life
Life is a vacation. Relax into the vacation. Oh, enjoy the gift of life. Enjoy the gift of drama. Enjoy the gift of play. Oh, enjoy the gift of service. You are of service. Thank you. Thank you for serving. You are already of service. Whatever you experience is of service to the universe, to the creation. Oh, Oh, my God.